Were you drinking? Mom, do we really have to do this? You ask if I was drinking, I say no, and we both know that that's not true. I mean, aren't we past this point in our relationship? No, young lady, we are not. Then I wasn't drinking. It seemed as though Sarah Heinland had everything she ever wanted in her life. She became a household name after working on a hit TV show, and her career was on the rise. What fans of Modern Family didn't see was all the horrific suffering the young actress had to endure behind the scenes, while still having to put a smile on her face for the cameras. From battling a health condition that almost cost her her life, along with a relationship that almost broke her, she's gone through a surprising amount of hardship. And through it all, she's determined not to let her struggles define her, even though they almost broke her. For more heartbreaking celebrity stories, don't forget to subscribe to Rumor Juice, where we'll keep you updated on everything you need to know. Don't forget to hit that notification bell too. By her count, Sarah Hyland, 28, has had about 16 surgeries, including a second kidney transplant, laparoscopic surgery for endometriosis, and surgery to correct an abdominal hernia. Her first kidney transplant from 2012 was already public knowledge. Her dad gave her one of his when she was just 21 years old. However, when it came to the details of her health struggles, the actress chose not to disclose that much information. After a few years of occasionally referencing medical issues without going into specifics, she decided to speak out and be more open about everything she's had to go through. Highland's body has put her through the ringer, forcing her to confront her own lack of control and adjust her goals, expectations, relationships, and self-image to make space for her medical needs. Sarah was born with kidney dysplasia, which essentially means her kidneys didn't develop normally when she was in the womb. Kidney dysplasia causes the kidneys, those critical bean-shaped organs, to grow cysts. Those cysts can disrupt the kidneys from doing their job of filtering waste products out of your blood. Some people with only one dysplastic kidney can go on to have few, if any, health problems related to the condition. However, Sarah's kidney dysplasia was so severe that she went into kidney failure. Eventually, she needed a transplant, and her father donated one of his. Sadly, in 2016, the actress's body began to reject the kidney her father donated to save her life. When you have an organ transplant, it's basically a foreign thing in your body. Your immune system will want to attack it and be like, what is this? This is not supposed to be here, Sarah explained. She was overcome with fatigue and experienced frequent fevers and infections. She was close to being bedridden and could barely muster up the strength to go to work. After a visit to the doctor, it was revealed that her body was rejecting her new kidney. Her medical team compared the transplanted kidney to a home that had caught on fire. We did all of these tests and all of these treatments to try and save the kidney. Christmas break, New Year's, Thanksgiving, my birthday, all of that spent in the hospital. The actress confessed, having had to go back and forth between home and the hospital for months on end. The following year, Highland had to go on dialysis, which is when a machine filters blood for you because your kidneys can't. The dialysis was saving her life, but it also meant having to be hooked up to a machine three times a week for four hours per session. Her weight dropped, prompting invasive public speculation. The media was in a frenzy, assuming that she was battling an eating disorder or substance abuse due to the pressure of her newfound fame. Her face also swelled up due to the medication she had to take and caused her blood pressure to spike enough to damage her vision, which already wasn't great to begin with. The young actress was experiencing one of the darkest moments of her life, living in constant pain and still showing up to work on Modern Family because she didn't want to let anyone down. Always sitting down. If you notice, she's sitting down a lot. Texting, or like leaning against something and texting. Well, you could kind of work this into your role. <laughs> <laughs> I've definitely worked it in. I definitely, like, like when Haley walks up the stairs, that's like my workout for the week. Being on set with her fellow cast members that had now become more like a second family made Sarah feel like she wasn't someone who was sick. I was very depressed. When a family member gives you a second chance at life, and it fails, it almost feels like it's your fault. It's not, but it does. Unfortunately, the dialysis wasn't enough. 
The transplanted kidney also had to come out, and she would need to get another kidney. A few months later, Highland found out her younger brother, Ian, was a match for transplant number two. He was ready and willing to donate an organ to his big sister. When a second family member, someone who you're supposed to look after, like a little brother, wants to give you a third chance at life, it's scary. Sarah felt completely helpless, and for a while, she even contemplated taking her own life. She confessed that she was terrified that her body was going to reject her brother's donated kidney, just like it had rejected her father's. She was afraid of letting everyone down and feeling like a failure. She feared that she would be adding another painful chapter to her book of lifelong health struggles and anxious about feeling like she would be a burden to her loved ones, even as they insisted that she was not. I would write letters in my head to loved ones of why I did it and my reasoning behind it, how it was nobody's fault. And I didn't want to write it down on paper because I didn't want anybody to find it. I had gone through my whole life of always being a burden, of always having to be looked after, having to be cared for, she says, explaining her thought process during this terribly dark time. There were a few things that helped her cope throughout her experiences, like her dogs. They were able to sense when she's sick and needs some extra love. Working on set was also a great source of strength for her. If you, not in denial of what's going on in your medical life, but if you just kind of distract yourself with things, you know, you, you, get, you have to compartmentalize everything. And um, being at work is just so amazing to me. My work is my therapy. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my work. If there's one good thing that came out of this entire traumatic ordeal, it's that Sarah was able to meet the love of her life. Wells Adam, a radio DJ who entered the public eye via a stunt on The Bachelorette, and Sarah began speaking while she was still on dialysis. As they flirted and got to know one another, she kept her health issues to herself, assuming nothing serious was going to happen. He was thousands of miles away in Nashville. So she, but she calls me and she's like, hey man, if you, if you want to, if you want to meet me, you need to come out before Tuesday. If you don't come out before Tuesday, it's, it's going to be a long time before we get to hang out. And I don't know what she's talking about, but she was alluding to this kidney Surgery. transplant yeah. that she was going to have. We met each other for the first time three days ago before my transplant. He was texting me in the morning before I went into surgery, and we were FaceTiming the entire time I was in the hospital. The actress confessed. Adams was there for her during the recovery process post-transplant. He saw Sarah at her worst, connected to all sorts of wires and machines, in pain from her surgery, and he remained by her side through it all. He continued to find her beautiful while she felt she was at her lowest, and she knew that Wells was different from anyone else she had dated before. Sadly for Sarah, she had not always been lucky in love. Highland rarely talks about her abusive ex-boyfriend, Matt Prokop, but she recently opened up about how domestic abuse still affects her today. A lot of people like to think that once you're out of an abusive situation, it ends there, but it doesn't. The emotional trauma and scars on the soul stay there, and they impact you for the rest of your life if you don't get help. Sarah filed a permanent restraining order against Matt in 2014 after a painful five-year relationship. According to court documents, he choked her while insulting her. He also threatened to burn down her house and kidnap her dog. His grip was so tight that I could not breathe or speak. I was scared and in fear for my life. And even after the two broke up, he relentlessly bombarded her with vile, threatening, and emotionally disturbing texts and voicemails, including his own suicide threats. It took an incredible amount of strength for the actress to walk away from a man she had once loved in order to save her own life. She knew that if she stayed with Matt any longer, he would have taken her down a dark road that she may not have been able to come back from. Thankfully, Wells was nothing like any of the previous partners Sarah had been with. He was the light at the end of a dark tunnel, and she felt like he was able to bring her out of a terribly dark time. In 2019, Sarah Highland and Wells Adams got engaged in Fiji, with Wells capturing the moment with the help of a drone. Both Highland and Adams announced their engagement on their Instagram, 
with Highland posting five photos of the moment they got engaged, writing, that can't eat, can't sleep, reach for the stars, over the fence, World Series kind of stuff, at Wells Adams. To put it simply, Highland is feeling pretty good, all things considered. So far, her second transplant has been a success. It doesn't mean there aren't a few bumps in the road every now and then, but Highland is keeping on and trying to keep everything in perspective, one day at a time. My name is Sarah. I have two of the most amazing dogs in the entire world. I have the best boyfriend ever, who has the third most amazing dog in the entire world. I have the greatest family one could ask for.